NBA 2K18 is just the biggest joke of a game I have ever played in my life. Now don't get me wrong, there were some good memories that I enjoyed, and sometimes I did enjoy the game, but most of the time it was just frustrating how the game didn't reward you for playing the game, all these glitches and bugs just kept on adding up, it made it impossible for me to play as all these glitches on the path just ruined my experience. The game did not reward me for playing on Hall of Fame, barely ranking me up and only giving me 600 VC no matter if I played on Hall of Fame on Pro. The cutscenes weren't even cutscenes, they were just advertisements for 2k to make revenue and they were so cringy I couldn't even watch anymore. Sometimes I think that the players had the mind of their own and I wasn't even controlling them. And don't even get me started on how many contested threes non-sharpshooters would make and how many times they would go in. It's basically even more of a percent to make contested threes than it was open. But there is one thing I'll miss, and that is the pack and playoff series. Something original that 2K never thought of. And it was not all about buying money to get good at the game. The good thing about pack and playoffs was that no matter how much money you spent, you still have the same amount of chance to beat your opponent than you did if you were playing my career. And that is why I'll miss it so much. But after all the stuff that 2K has done this year, I don't think I can ever forgive them. I'm not sure if I'll even buy it next year. But until further notice, I say goodbye. And I'm moving on. Welcome guys, I hope you liked that intro, it's very unique, I can, guess you can say that. As you can see, you are seeing correctly, I've got World War 2 Call of Duty, and I did return NBA 2K18 for it, and I did it on Black Friday, so I'm no Christmas noob or anything, so I did it on Black Friday, and I only paid $15 for this game, so very happy about that, so we're going to hop in straight into multiplayer, it's going to be a cut commentary, um, and I'm just going to explain basically why, I got rid of 2K, etc, etc, so let's get into it boys. Alright, so we're loading into headquarters, right now but anyway i'm going to hop into a game of team deathmatch because i think that's one of my challenges anyway so i'm going to do that basically basically you can so basically yeah um so basically basically so basically um you know, i had such a good idea of what i was going to do before this and now i'm just choking but um so basically 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 not man i can't even speak man basically um um Oh, where was I? Oh, I just got that care package and I don't know where I was at. So basically, so basically, um, um, and yeah, basically, oh my god, I can't talk. Yeah, this video is really jumbled up and I'm really bad at this. I might as well stick to the live comms because it's really bad, so. Um, 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 I'm 21 and 14, that's good as. Alright guys, you probably were bored of me struggling, so I just skipped that game and I've written a checklist now. I really need a checklist about what I'm going to speak about because I can't think of stuff when I'm playing the game. So I'm going to go to the same class you guys saw in 21 and 14 last game, but basically, why I got rid of NBA 2K18 is what I'm going to be talking about. I got rid of NBA 2K18 because of how selfish they they were and how money hungry they were they increased so much of the prices in in vc and stuff ah in vc and stuff it was pay to win from the beginning as soon as you got your player this time last year within one week of the playing nba 2k 17 i was already an 80 overall so what they did was if you bought the legend edition you got up to an 80 if you bought the gold edition you got up to i can 88 or something so you got up to the 88 no matter what you you could not upgrade your player because of how little VC they gave you, so I played on Hall of Fame for like two games, and then I realized you get the same amount. Of, I saw that guy's kill. You get the same amount of. You get the same amount of money as you do getting playing on on Pro. So basically, what's the point of playing on Hall of Fame if you're just gonna get if you're just not gonna get rewarded for playing on Hall of Fame? Because I got 600 VC, you guys saw already for playing on for playing on pro and every game I would get the same amount. Basically from launch, this really annoyed me. It was unplayable so I couldn't even play with my friends and obviously at launch the game's interest level is at the highest. However, I found that there were so many glitches like well not glitches, the sliders were mucked up. I could not make any layups no matter how wide open I was and it's just so annoying play playing but get wrecked. 
as you saw my playing because it wouldn't reward me for my archetype which was a driving and finishing playmaker so I upgraded my layups a lot and I could not even make any layups from the start if they were staring at you too hard you would miss this guy here this is good oh ah what the hell well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, anyway, so, and all the glitches, like money glitches that they've added, and notice this, that they, they, they didn't try and patch the squad invite glitch where you ta it takes two invites to join the squad, but they but they patched the money glitches where you would get free clothes and stuff for going to JBL and getting these headphones or something. Basically, they're just money hungry. I've already covered that. They would not fix any of their glitches. They just they weren't focused on their gameplay. They contested shots were out of the world. You would make more contested shots oh my gosh then you would if you were wide open like i know that's a little bit of an exaggeration but when i played pro am like pro am was my favorite my career game mode not my park or anything due to the fact that like you could actually contribute however the sliders were so mucked up that you could just simply you could just simply easily make limitless range shots all the time and all the time the sharpshooters would just hog it and everyone would just go for their badges and they didn't make it a friendly environment to play as a team they just made it so that you go for oh my gosh oh my gosh there were so many kids there and i mucked that up oh my gosh of course i will die Chromium was fun at the start but you soon realize that slides were mucked up you couldn't do anything sometimes the players had a mind of their own you would tell them to cut and this is the really bad thing i launched the spacing was so bad oh, i just headshot him with a knife so Oh my gosh! Nice! Oh, we won. I went 13-11. Not as good as the last game, but still, I'll take it. This is a good lobby. So we're playing Ark, and I don't really- I don't know how to say Ark. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce- What the? Dang, I never realized that even was a thing. But anyway, oh, there's a guy behind me. Oh my god, this is wall basically bad and killing. Oh! Die! Die! Thank you! Oh my gosh, that was fun. <gasps> Please don't tell me. Thank God I had a suppressor. So all my friends, they just, they haven't been... That's, that's, that's a teammate. No, that's not. Oh, baby, it's very hard to play and talk at the same time. Let's light them up. Let's light these boys up. Kobe! Ha! Double, let's go! You guys suck! Anyway, my friends, we all decided not to play. Um, we couldn't even rank up, and we're just getting beaten so much by high levels who wasted money on this trash game. I don't know why you would waste money on Tuesday. Um, my team, I don't know, I've already said this a lot of times, but they make, they, I don't know what's going on with 2K, they make the pack so expensive. So no, I don't know anyone who's ever bought them. No one's making videos on them, the game's dead. The interest level of 2K is the lowest it's ever been, I reckon. People say it's not, but for people that don't spend money on the game, no one's enjoying it, so that's not majority. Well, I would maybe majority, but a lot of people, what's this kid doing? No one was on the park, from from my experience, no one was on the park in the, like, the first couple of weeks. Like, they were all just grinding to wank up your player. It's so bad that I just uninstalled it, and I'm actually starting to play NBA 2K17 again. Like, I I actually like that game. Um, the fact that it rewarded me, I can actually level up even by playing the park, even though there's something wrong with it, like the Jubilee. Um, also the cutscenes, they're not cutscenes, they're just advertisements. All they want is that's a headshot, thank you. All they want is for you. They say, they say, oh look how many people view these cutscenes, and then they show the people that, and then they show the companies. I'm gonna slide this guy up in here. Never mind, Colby. Let's go. So basically, what happens if if someone's used it, it counts as an impression. So 2K would say, oh look, these many people saw that we, your product in the game, and also Mountain Dew stuff like that, and the Ruffles event. They would, oh. They would, they just have advertisements anywhere, and that's probably the main reason why you're lagging so much on the park, is because if you notice, you look carefully, all around just billboards like for Jordan, Nike, Ruffles, Mountain Dew, and when you're in a game, they don't like cut it out for you. They, they um, keep it in there so that they get paid, and basically that's the only main reason for support. Um, but yeah, pretty much all I had to cover. Uh, not much else I had to say. That's my team name. Eh? I'm happy I got a card. My f I'm playing with my friends. I'm really enjoying it. Although, like, the sniping. I'm glad they've listened to the community. If they've turned down sniping. I've been in the lobby where everyone's sniping in ages. <laughs> <laughs> One more kill before the game ends. Ah. Oh. 
15, 15 left. I've had, I've done my talk. I've got the worst game possible, worst map. Well, not the worst, but anyway, I'm going to go full try hard and see how good I'll and see how good I'll go. Um, so I'm not going to be really talking that much. Headshot, pain. Oh. Oh my gosh, I have a kid on the thing. Die, let's go. I just wasted my whole. Oh man, I don't see me. Where is that? Oh, is that a kid? Yes, it is. <gasps> Eddie! Let's go, last bullet. That was really bad, but I'll take it. That's probably going to be a play of the game as well. <laughs> They're all spawning here. Yay! Oh, the clutch. Ah! No! Oh, there's a kid in here. Colby! Lol, that's what you get for camping. Oh man! Then we friends. Oh my gosh, as soon as I say that, that's a good game for you. I'm just spawn trapping these kids. Yes! Ah! Light! He's lit. He's lit. There you go. Oh my gosh! I think he's about to die. Ow! See how ah! That's there we go, that's a kill. That's another kill, drop shot. I'm going off boys. That's another kill. I see someone down there. Oh! Yeet. <laughs> ha! I knew it was going to be a guy and that was bad aim. There's two kids right here. And that was really bad. That was so bad. That was so bad, you know. Yeah. Ah, no, okay. Don't trap us. Ah! He did it. If two of us go, he can't kill us both. He can't kill us both! Mate, they've actually come back. Yes! I got a kill, that was clutch. Double, double! There's two of them, no! No! They actually come back. They actually came back. No. No. No! We've lost. GG. Yes! Oh, I killed him as well! 20 and 14. Oh, we lost by two. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you can understand it. So, basically, I'm not going to get UK again for a long time until I see that they're actually improving. But, but anyway, I hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let's open this supply shop right now. Rare! It's a rare as well. Let's go. Come on. Oh my gosh, my supply shop luck has been so bad recently. Anyway. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully I can see you in my next video. Give it a like if you enjoyed. I'm really enjoying this game. And see you soon.